Hi Pisces, it's Tuesday. I'm going to do a read for you guys. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general, so cannot resonate for everyone. Please take what resonates, leave the rest, and know that roles can be reversed. They can intermingle and flip-flop around. Um, also, it's not gender specific, so when I say he, she, just ignore that. Um, thank you for visiting my channel. I've been out of the country, just got back, missed you guys, and um, did a lot of thinking about the direction of the channel. I just really want the channel, I really want to um, just together with you guys work on elevating the collective, you know. And um, just want to be really <clears throat> about self-love and healing and acceptance, you know, even when people hurt us or do us wrong, if we can learn to move on with self-love and forgive. Um, I don't know. More to come on that, just thinking out loud, I guess. Um, okay, so let's get started. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. The Empress. Ten of Cups is in the current mutual energy. Wow. Ten of Cups with the Sun card. Sun card can be children. It's also Leo energy, but current mutual energy is wish fulfillment, um, marriage, you know, happy wife, happy life. And the Sun card, like I said, can be about children, but this is the happiest card in the deck. It's happiness. It's everything illuminated. Clarity. On your person's mind, you have the five of wands, feeling conflicted. This could be family um, conflict. We have the nine of swords, which, you know, keeping them up at night. I'm sorry, you guys can't see that. Let me hold them up. There you go. Let's see if we can get this a little bit, laid out a little bit better. Okay. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the, why can't you see that? There we go, Seven of Cups, so confusion, options. Queen of Wands, this is in their energy. You know, the Five of Wands is about, could be petty, petty bickering, could be um, family bickering, you know, could be gossip, I don't know. Nine of Swords is you know, something keeping them up at night. Queen of Wands, we'll clarify, we'll clarify, we'll clarify this. In the recent past, we have the Justice card, Libra energy. We have um, Strength card, Leo. So the Justice card is about fairness, as you know. Um, could be something legal, but it's fairness. And then we have the, the Strength card, which is about um, self-restraint, you know, using self-control. We have the Queen of Cups, which again plays into this. It's um, so the Queen of Cups is somebody who's emotionally stable. She's able to share her emotions and she's in control of her emotions and she can offer love, but not, you know, she's able to control that love and who she offers it to. She's not going to give it, just give it away freely and easily. In the outcome, we have Eight of Wands. King of Wands, looks like we're dealing with a soulmate here, somebody taking action. Look at that, the Emperor card, that's a husband card. We've got Two of Cups. Um, and the Lovers. So, um, equal, equal, giving love equally. All right, so let's just kind of, let me soak this in a little bit. So your energy is feeling heavily burned it, burdened, you know, with the Ten of Wands. You're carrying a heavy burden. Um, hopefully that's not uh, overthinking. We've got Queen of Pentacles. 
single mom. We also have the Empress card, so that's a mother. So, you know, let me see who you're thinking about. What's this going on here? <clears throat> What's this Ten of Wands, please? For my Pisces, Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. And, you know, this could be a little irritated by the heavy load. Maybe it's the single mom thing that, you know, maybe you're feeling the heavy load of, of being a single mom. I don't know. Let's find out. We've got the Four of Wands. That's, you know, marriage, soulmate, twin flame. What else is going on for Pisces, please? Nine of Cups. So, you know, just wanting happiness, you know, looks like you're focusing on yourself and how to make yourself happy, being secure and stable on your own. You're a little irritated here. I don't have any clarity on that one, though. What's the burden about, please? Unless it's just the burden of, you know, doing it on your own, being being a single mother or father. I mean, roles, and roles can be reversed, yeah. So we have Ten of Swords, Painful Ending, and Nine of Cups. I mean, Nine of Pentacles. So I think on your mind is... A painful ending, which has left you unhappily, you know, on your own again. Okay, so that's that's what you're thinking about. Four of Pentacles, holding on tight. I didn't ask a question, so I'm going to stick it back in. Let's look at your person's energy. Five of Wands. What's going on with this Five of Wands? Intern I feel like there's some, some a third, a, not a third party is in cheating necessarily, but a third person influencing things and for those of you who are married I do feel this is about the um, the bickering the fighting that's going on we got knight of wands what is this it which is you know all about the communication what is this devil card this ten of swords Nine of Swords, I'm sorry. Nine of Swords, Devil Card. I'm not able to let go, feeling trapped and bound to something. And we definitely have a good outcome here. You're both wanting the same thing. Looks like you guys are mirroring each other. The Moon Card. Secrets, Fears. I think your person, let me verify one thing real quick. Yeah, again, not able to let go. Your person is afraid of losing you. Okay. I feel like there's a separation going on here and you both want to get want to be back together but there's confusion around it what is this justice card please in the recent past justice truth clarity maybe an apology <clears throat> More on the Justice card and the Ace of Swords, please. I got too many. But they were Seven of Wands. We'll see if they come out again. They were Three of Swords, which is heartbreak regarding a marriage. I do think a lot of this is marriage. Some, something ended. Something's either on the brink of ending or something ended. And what you're thinking heavily about is being, I think, doing the single, the single parent thing. <clears throat> the burden of that. Not being sure if you want to do that on your own. More on the recent past, please. Ten of Pentacles. Stability. Hmm, Ace of Cups. You know, we've got two aces here, which is about something new and beginning. Um, five of Swords. Hmm. 
Something, somewhere, someone interfered. There was interference from an outside person, and that's the hiccup. More on the recent past, please, or the situation, the heart of the matter. I think this is you trying to decide what you want. Your person definitely wants you back. Yeah, ha, ha, being stuck, not able to make a decision. So the, the king, the two of wands is about, see how he's got the whole world in his hand there? It's about a major decision. Whether, you know, and I believe in this situation, it's whether to stay or go. <clears throat> but they don't, It's. it looks like it's up to you. It's going to be up to you if it's not already. I want to know more on this Four of Pentacles, please. Four of Pentacles. So what I'm feeling is your person, you is not able to, even though they want to move forward towards you, they're not doing it. They don't want to let go, but they're somehow stuck. I think because they don't know how you feel. You're kind of back and forth. You're not sure. <clears throat> You're having a hard time making a decision. So let's look at the um, six of six of um, cups. This is the sweetest card in the deck. So I mean, I think there's a lot of love here. It's just going to be a matter of whether or not you are willing to forgive. I think, you know, because there's a lot of um, that's reconcile. It looks like you guys are going to reconcile. So. I think what this is saying is that if you if you're able to forgive we got Aquarius, we have um wish fulfillment, healing, balance, temperate, restoring balance. I think that if you're able to, you know, I think you're gonna have to make a decision. If you're going to do this, um, you're gonna have to forgive and really let go and move forward. Forgive this person, but I do know strongly that they are wanting you to come back. We've got observer. This I pulled this before I, I did the spread. Let me read that to you. This is from the Wisdom of the Oracles. Perspective of objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. So make sure you're being objective here, okay? Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences so much that they come to believe that those are the only, are the only one reality. I th maybe you need to have a little bit more of an open open mind, open heart. And if you're not ready, take your time. But, you know, I think this is all relying on you and what you want, making a decision. There are times when you need distance. Well, I just said that. Take your time if you want. <laughs> there are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is the perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, environment you're engaged with now. You'll be happy you did. Illumination, wait, I know we had the sun card, didn't we? Yeah, look at that. Illumination, focus. Illumination, where was I? I lost it. Ah. Oh, there, it's at the bottom. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. In a relationship, and the relationship message, it says sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in, are in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up, and often you hear one thing when you when one person says another. It can be like an echo of unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take, take to higher ground now and cultiva cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find much improved sooner than you, things will be much improved sooner than you know. So they want you back. They're, they're regretting the, the whatever happened here. Um, I do think there's an outer influence 
somehow causing this, but they, they both want the same thing, but I feel like they're not making a move right now. They're hung up. They're not letting you go, but they're hung up on what to do because they're not sure how you're going to react. If you do re reconcile, there is a good, it does show happiness ahead. Okay. Um, but it also, the, what's crowning the read is confusion and options. But I kind of feel like, and you only know if this resonates for you, but I feel like you know you don't want it to end. Um, but you're maybe not, maybe you're thinking of all the bad things that could happen, or maybe you're overthinking it, or maybe you're, you know, um, going off off track on what about this? What about this? What about this? So if you need to take time to decide take time to decide, but just know your person does want this um, They do want to fix it if they're the ones that messed up if you're the ones that messed up They want to forgive and you both are really really wanting this so um, let me know in the comments I hope that was helpful and um, just try to you know move forward with love and forgiveness and Am I rambling? I guess that's it. But it does have a it does have a ha happy outcome. It does look like you. Um, it's gonna the decision will be yours. Okay. All right, Pisces. Love you guys. Um, let me know, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, Pisces.